Yo guys, what is going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how you can edit videos easily in the Share Factory app on PS4. Now the reason I am doing this is a friend asked me to do it. But anyways, let's go ahead and load up Share Factory. And it's kind of tricky at first just because the UI, the layout is very different from any computer editing software. But what you're going to do is you're going to load it up and as you can see here you got the video tab, the photos, you make GIFs, all that other stuff. We're focusing on videos right now, so we're going to go to New Project. Let's just use this. I take all these off. You can leave them on if you want. But let's say we want to use this. We'll just use a random clip. Alright, so here's a random clip. Now what you can do is, if you hit square on your controller, you have all these options. The time bender, that pretty much, that's controls the speed of the video split clip it lets you split it like this you're just gonna go to split clip push X go over to confirm and it'll split it so now you have two separate clips now you can trim the clip just by using the right stick to take it back or the left stick to take it forward you can move the clip which it just moves the clip around you can delete the clip but now how you delete the clip is your cursor right here where it shows the time like right there my cursor is right there on the video in the timeline you're gonna hit square delete clip go over to confirm yes and it deleted that clip now the clone clip it pretty much you just click on it and it copies the exact same clip that your cursor is over You can pan and zoom, you know, you just zoom in like that. Use your right stick to adjust it wherever you want it at. Your overlays, you can edit overlays, you can put like, if there's any on here already, editing, that's what that's for. But as you can see, I don't have any on here, so I can't edit the overlays. You got the music. You can edit the music. There is no music on here right now. And you got the clip volume. Now, if you go into the clip volume, you're going to see this little meter here, this bar. You're just going to take it down all the way. And there's no sound in that clip now. If you want to do it to all of your clips, all you got to do is go down. And, of course, I don't have any other ones, so it's not going to let me go down. But if there's more clips, you just go down hit square and then hit X and whatever volume you put it at that'll be set to all clips now let's get into the X button you push X and you get to add other clips in so let's say I wanted to add this in right here I just added that in you can add a screenshot we'll put a gradient Use the gradient, and that's pretty much that. Now, if you're on the gradient or any of the screenshots, sometimes there are options like if you use a solid color, you can change the color to black, red, blue, whatever. But as you can see, I'm on the gradient right here. You hit square, go over to settings, and you can change the color of the top and the bottom or whatever. Now, let's go ahead and delete these so it's not too confusing. don't want to clone that all right so now back to the X button you can add music which, wherever your cursor is so if I add music right here it will not be the music will not start until it's right here so if we want it at the very beginning we're gonna go to the very beginning with our cursor using either the right stick or the touchpad in the middle hit X add track 2 not track two, add music, my bad. Track two, we'll get into that in a second. Add music, you can add one of these. I'm just gonna add this. As you can see, here it is, music is added. And yeah. So let's delete that. Track two would be like a video overlay or you can add a microphone, like audio. 
So right here, if I wanted to add another clip over that video, I just go add clip and I can put whatever. So I'll put this over it again. And you can see that yellow box up there. Whatever video I added, it's going to be right there in that box. Now you could push square on this and you could edit how, you know, the size, the layout, everything like that. I'm just going to delete it so we don't get confused here. Now if you go and hit X and you go to add overlay, if you have, like this is stickers and stuff like that, but if you have your own, like I have this, it adds the bars, you know, I hit back, circle two times, and it adds it over like that. Now that we have an overlay on our video, if you go to edit overlays, hit square again, you can like move it around and all that other stuff. You can change the opacity, you know, delete it. You can, there's a layer, there's a layer box on the left side here. You can pretty much move them around with the layer order. You can align it, all that other stuff. I'm gonna delete it now. Now you can add a filter. Okay, filtering, it, it can be like saturation. If you add that over your video, it's more saturated, more color, pretty much. Now you can adjust it by going, once you have the filter on here, you can hit square and now it'll say edit filter. You go over to filter settings, you can turn it up or you can turn it down. Whichever way you want it, you can adjust it to whatever you like. Alright. Now the layout, this is like see the trees on here that is where your that's what your video is gonna be it's gonna be like that so if I put this one right here my video is gonna be like that on the screen with the background like that now if you go in here you go to edit layout hitting you hit square go to edit layout there's no settings that you can edit for this layer or not layer layout my bad so if we delete it, you know, you can add another one, whatever. Now let's get into the transition, because these are kind of important. So let's go ahead and just add a random, random clip in here. Now there's two clips, and you don't want it to just switch over instantly like that. So you're going to go hit X, go to add transition. And here is a bunch of transitions you can use. You can use either of these, if you go over here to this, go to dissolves, you can use like the fade through, the fade from, cross fade, you can use any of these. So if I want to use this, I'm going to go to this, hit confirm, and now watch, it don't just cut over to the next one. It's more neat. Now. The little box in between the clips, that is a transition box. If you go over it with your cursor and you hit square, you can go to edit transition. You can delete it, replace it, set the volume, which I don't, there's no volume for it. And then you can uh, edit the settings for it. You can change like, if you want it to be yellow like this, you can change it. So let's go back. It goes into yellow. So it's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. If you hit L2 on your controller, if you're not in any settings, you can go into full screen. And it pretty much just shows you a full screen view. Now, R2 on your controller is how you hit play. You can just hit play. Like I said, the touchpad is the move. Or you can use the right stick. Touchpad is faster, you can fling it around. Or right stick, it's up to you. Now, the L1 button it's gonna take you back to wherever like the last clip was if you hit R1 it's gonna take you forward to where the next clip is like so R1 L1 
Now if you hit the options button on your controller, you can go in here and whatever. You can save the project to where you can come back and edit it later. Or you can just instantly export it to the gallery. Now as you can see here it says generate thumbnail. This is going to be the thumbnail for the video. So when you're not playing the video this is what's going to be on the front of the video. So if I wanted this to be the thumbnail. I go right here, hit options, generate thumbnail, and now that is the thumbnail. Um, let's see here, what else did we not do? Let's get back into the music a little bit. Just put a random song on here. Now like I said, it's not going to be over here because I added the music right here. If you want to move it, you're going to go over the music with the cursor, hit square, you can hit mute, move music, sorry, use your left, or not left, right stick, and you're going to move it left, like so. Once you got it where you want it, you're going to hit X, and there you go, you've moved it. Now, one thing you can do, and I like to do this in my videos, I don't use Share Factory, but I like to do it. You can hit square over your music, you can go to fade in, and you can turn it up. I put it around three seconds and that pretty much makes it to where your music just don't start playing it kind of fades in from no volume to the highest amount of volume and you can do it for the end as well so that's that now the music once you hit square on it you're gonna see similar options to the video options you can split it Trim it, move it, delete it, put the volume on it. It's the same as editing the video. So like, if you hit split, you can split the music. Now let's say you don't want music on this part of the video. And, as you can see, it shows the Share Factory logo or whatever. And you don't want that to be stuck on your video, because it'll carry on for about... Uh, three minutes, however long the song is. So if you've got a 30 second clip and you add a three minute song, if you don't delete the rest of this, it's going to be a three minute video. So what I do is I kind of come over here, I delete it right before it's about to show the logo, I hit split, I go over here, I hit square, you can delete the music with square once you're in this, and it'll delete that part. Now you've got this and this. Say I don't want this, I hit square, hit delete, and that's that. I don't want any music, I'm going to delete it all. Um, I'm pretty sure that is it. Yeah, that is pretty much it. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed the video or it help, please comment, rate, Subscribe for more, and I'm out.